Hi, my name is Shannon Haddock and I'm a fiction specialist here at the Hoover Library. Today's book is a book club pick for the Hoover Library Book Club. Uh, it's Dear Edward by Anne Napolitano. It came out in January of 2020 um, and we read it at a good time in between a lot of really heavy World War II historical fictions. Dear Edward is the story of um, Eddie Edward, who is the sole survivor in a plane crash in Denver, around Denver uh, in the mountains. He is, there are, I think, over a hundred um, passengers that die. And while Edward is in the hospital with uh, non-life-threatening injuries, his aunt and uncle um, come and take him, eventually take him back home with them to New Jersey. They were moving from New York City. Uh, Edward's family was moving from New York City to Los Angeles for their, the mother's um, writing career. And the husband has been uh, set his career aside to homeschool Eddie and his older brother. And, you know, they're all looking forward to a new life. Unfortunately, only Edward gets to move forward. And he does so um, very... It, the story handles all the, the disaster quite well. It, it's very, it doesn't, isn't gory. And um, Edward makes the transition. It's not easy. He um, is welcomed on the first night by his neighbor, uh, Shay, who is a, a young teenager also. She um, is very friendly with him and Edward, um, sneaks out of the house and comes to Shay's house to sleep on her floor beside her. Um, something about being around someone his own age comforts him. Uh, this is allowed to go on for, for many years. He will, his um, adoptive parents, his uncle and aunt, do everything they can to make him feel welcome in the house, but their choice of Edward's room is their nursery that never had got a baby. She, they have um, um, fertility issues. He doesn't feel comfortable there. So, you know, they give him the basement and he doesn't feel comfortable there. So they kind of allow this to happen. The neighbor is, is a very, the mother, the mother of Shay is very understanding and open. They're all very accepting of the trauma that Edward is going through. Now the author, does a fantastic job of going back and forth in time to Edward's survival, back to the, pay, pay, the people on the airplane. She tells their stories in little vignettes. For instance, there is a 80 something year old billionaire who's in a wheelchair and incapacitated for the first time in his life. He feels very, very frail and um, disassociated because he can't, um, you know, he's been a powerhouse for so many years. So that is an interesting story that and his ex-wife of some 40 years who um, had his children. Anyway, the, the other story is of a, a very strong, imposing army man named Benjamin. Evidently, he had his backstory is pretty tragic, but once he finds himself in the military, it, its rules and, and structure help him. He becomes, excels in everything he does, but his uh, feelings uh, in his romantic life start to confuse him. And he, in no relation to that, and becomes injured uh, so much so that he is looking heading to the West Coast to start a new life uh, outside of the army. He doesn't know what to expect. He's even contemplating suicide. So that's his story. We also learn about Edward's um, parents, their story. And um, one of the flight attendants, uh, very beautiful flight attendants who is used to a lot of attention and used to navigating that attention. Um, it's very skillful how she, she develops these characters. All of them you feel like you know. Uh, the story is very moving and um, 
melancholy maybe, but it's really an interesting story. You, you definitely root for Edward. You see everyone's point of view. Um, I highly recommend the book. You will enjoy reading Edward's journey. So it's available in all formats in the library. So happy reading. <laughs>